Hello there from Tinkerer's Paradise. Hey Jackson. This is Patty and this is Jackson. Jackson is the neighbor's cat who thinks that he owns me. <laughs> and um, this is Thanksgiving or thankfulness challenge num week three. So I think the first thing I'm going to say is I'm thankful for Jackson. I'm thankful for kitties that adopt you or are friendly. Um, I'm a dog person, just so you know. But this little guy has been company for me. And he met me out here, and we became friends out here in the garden. Um, so he's been, he's been my pal. And um, I don't know if I could call him a comfort. <laughs> I don't, I've never had a cat that's been a comfort. He is, obviously, he's the, the guy who thinks that you need to take care of him. He has certain things he wants. But anyway, I'm thankful for, for Jackson because he has been, been a lot of fun to have around. And I get to make jokes about him. So I'm also, this is thankful. Uh, thankful for number two would be all this lush growth in here. As I looked across here, you can see how beautiful that looks. It just it made me smile. I love it so much. It's so beautiful. Yeah, this new growth. And there's other things that are getting new growth on them. This crazy thing. This is Trachelia spermum. Um, it is a good pollinator plant, and it's getting new leaves on it, which just cracks me up. I mean, it's been in the 40s and 50s and even down into the 30s, and it's still growing. And over here, I've kind of got the same thing going on. Aren't those colors beautiful? So and I would say number three is I'm thankful for color. I'm thankful for different kinds of colors, the moods that they produce from this moody um, cobalt planter to the brilliant vibrant purples and um, the gold leaves of the plants and these very now very moody dark purple leaves on the um, collard. This tree collard, isn't that gorgeous? Y'all need to try growing tree collard. I think it's a fantastic plant and worth growing. Uh, other colors, the red leaves there of that oxalis. So I am, I love the color. And I, I like a lot of the real organic colors too. Um, I'm not a fan of this stained color. I prefer natural wood tones. Um, so, and I like lavender, the flowers lavender. I love the color of the sages back there, the purple and, the, and then the variegated and then the silver. So I love the softer ones, especially love those. I love being out in nature. So the colors that are in the natural world really speak to me. Um, I couldn't live in like a high color house. So, was that number three? <laughs> um, oh, let's see, what else? Oh, I'm, I am thankful for good deals. And I wanna show you one right now. This urn that I've got here, this I got for $35 at a church sale. And I, it's, made me stop the car it was right out by the curb and they'd been going for several hours and nobody had purchased it and I was like you got to be kidding me it's got my name written all over it so we got it in the back of my van I gave them the 35 bucks took it home and I planted it up and I've been loving it ever since yep I love good deals um, you know and here's my take on good deals A truly, um, a good deal is only a real deal if, number one, you need what you're spending the money on for a reason, a specific reason, not just to, oh, look at the deal I got, which I know how easy that is to do because the hunt is part of it, you know, we all love to go hunt and find new deals. Um, 
but that we can use it or that it will bring us joy. You know, this, um, it has some kind of intrinsic value that makes our lives better or it's practical. Those things, that to me makes a real deal. And sometimes deals are, maybe they cost. It might not be that it's a monetary deal, but it's actually something that um, will be a decent amount of money to spend, but it, it feels like a deal because it brings you such blessing. So I'm gonna say I love a good deal. That is what, and I'm thankful for a good deal. Okay, other things I'm thankful for. I'm thankful for being able to repurpose things. <laughs> I love repurposing things. I love taking something that is really odd and unusual uh, that nobody else will grab and I will take it and do something with it. And it, it will be something that's kind of whimsical and artistic. Um, back here, I'm gonna show you this. That there, that was a black metal frame that had amber glass blown into it, one of those, and it was a lamp or a light fixture that hung from the ceiling. It looked so gothic and depressing, but I bought it for two bucks at another church sale, took it home, it sat on my deck for a year. Before I realized what I really liked about it was the metal and the shape of it and I knocked the glass out of it safely did it in a bag and knocked the glass out of it then I had these Torcher uh, stands that I got another deal two bucks a piece uh, at our local Kroger affiliate Fred Meyer and so for four bucks and my husband's welding skills, I have a place to grow annual vines and um, Thunbergia, uh, and I can't remember the common name. It looks really good on here because it will come up and then it gets those tubular flowers with the really dark throats and it will just gather in there and spill out and it's just beautiful. So that's what I like to use that for. Um, I have other things that I've repurposed too. I've got a bunch of uh, covers for lights there, and I have other torture covers. Those are going to go on, and they make great things to stick in the garden just to kind of capture some light. Ooh, I just see something over here. Now, I thought this stuff was going to die, but it looks like it's going to live. Oh, look at this. That's Okinawa spinach. Oh, that's too funny. I stuck it in here thinking, well, maybe it'll grow. <laughs> and it looks like it is. But we had a freeze and I thought for sure it would be a goner. And it's not. That's pretty cool. I might have that winter over in there. My potato. Oh, I would say I am thankful for rosemary flowers. These flowers are so surprising and so beautiful. And yes, they are really that blue. That is pretty much a true representation of this particular rosemary. The hummingbirds like these also. So that's what I like. Oh, here's all my torsier that are going to go up there. Um, oh, I would say I'm thankful for fragrant plants and not just flowers. Um, I would say herbs like this is Artemisia Powell's Castle. I've talked about it before. But I love things that I can pet, and they leave a fragrance on my hands, and this smells really nice. Um, this is Australian mint bush, and it leaves a minty fragrance, but my favorite has to be rosemary. And those fragrances actually, those fragrances actually impact us emotionally and mentally. Rosemary has been proven to help with, excuse me, get out of the light. Um, rosemary has been proven to help with, um, you know, memory, and it is actually called the plant of remembrance. Another thing I like is 
that I'm thankful for um, is being able to appreciate um, when things don't have leaves on them. The trees, when their stems and their form appears, when you see the structure or the skeleton of the plant, uh, being able to see what beauty is there. I'm looking at the little vine maple here and in the sunlight, its new branches from this year are just ruby red. They're really pretty. But the forms are beautiful and a lot of people can't look at things and see the beauty in the structure, but I am so grateful that I have been given eyes to be able to appreciate that. And so I'm thankful I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful to be able to see that. I don't know if I'm holding this very good or not. It's one of those weird things. <laughs> um, oh, I'm thankful for things that I've been given by old friends. I would say elderly friends that we've had in the neighborhood. Um, that pot there, that urn was given to me by my 95-year-old friend who passed away. The one I took care of. Um, this little insert here, that was for an oil uh, furnace thing, I think. Um, that was given to me by another elderly neighbor who passed away. And this here, that there, that's Eve. And I found the forms for those and gave them to another elderly friend of mine who was pretty vibrant and she took and made these cement um, forms from and sold them and so she gave me that one that was the first one she made and Eve is getting a dress of moss on her and lichen and turning very pretty but no I'm just thankful for those kind of things yeah um, I'm thankful for being able to make soup uh, and chili, for having the ability, this, the understanding of how flavors blend together. That is what cooking is about, is being able to, it's kind of like knowing another language, really. Um, you can take in your mind what the flavors are, and um, if you have enough if you pay enough attention to it, pretty soon you get so you know what one flavor is going to play like next to another. And I'm thankful to be able to do that. Um, I don't do it as well as I would like to be able to, but I am thankful to be able to do that. It's one of the real uh, helpful things when you're cooking, but I love making soups and, and chili. It's so easy. Anybody can do it. Um, you don't even really need a recipe. You just need to know the kind of things that go into them. And then you play with them and get them to be the way that you like them. So um, I would say that I am also thankful for that. Oh boy. Um, I'm thankful for this warm sunshine on my face right now. It is right now the wind isn't blowing through here quite so fast, but it is really delightful. And I hear the hummingbird. Oh, maybe I can get him. Hey, little hummer, you going to let me get you? Oops, nope, he flew off. Well, anyway, this is Patty, the tinkerer's wife. And I want to thank you all for joining me. Thank you, you new, one, new ones here. I know I've got some new subscribers. Um, I hope that you enjoy the content. Um, I, and I hope that those of you that are brand new, um, I would encourage you to subscribe. It's a way that you can help me. Um, and not monetarily, I would say, because I'm building community here. My goal with this is not monetary. <laughs> I want to say that right up front. I want to share what I know and um, what I know how to do and inspire and teach and bless and encourage. That's my goal. And to be here for others if, if they have needs for prayer or encouragement um, I would encourage you to uh, you know get a hold of me my Instagram accounts the best place to do that because I don't have a good um, I need to get a another Gmail account set up for this and I'm gonna do that I've got a couple things I gotta do and that's one of them but anyway thanks for joining me 
uh, y'all be sure you put that thumbs up on there that's a way you can help it's free <laughs> doesn't cost you anything uh, and if you have questions just leave them in the comments I do read all the comments and I try to um, I respond to all the comments too right now I can still do that and I'm grateful for that so there's benefits to being a smaller channel and that's one of them and so I'm, I'm kind of fond of that well anyway um, I'm going to sit out here and bask in the sun and my eyes are getting pretty squinty and my time's just about up. But if I didn't make the seven, I'll put them down in the comments and pin it so you can see what the ones I missed were. I think I got everything though. Uh, I just want to say thanks for watching. And this is Patty, the Tinkerer's wife, signing off from beautiful Portland, Oregon. God bless.